Hello. So this is my Jojoba update and I'm really, really happy today. Why? Because last night I quit Jojoba. That's right. It's been two weeks and yesterday was the last day. It was the 14th day of Jojoba. I wore it in the morning under my makeup because of just, you know, being stubborn like a mule or an ox. Anyway, I wanted to follow through on my promise of doing it for, well, 30 days, but two weeks of these videos and updates, you know, of what happens to your skin for two weeks on jojoba. And this is what I have to say. Desert Essence Jojoba has clogged up my skin in a way that hasn't happened in a while. I don't remember another product that has done so. So this is what's called cosmetic acne. When a product ruins your skin. So my skin was great before jojoba and even on the first couple of days of jojoba. However, then it went to hell. It started to get all cloggy and gross. So last night I went back to my trusty uh, Bioderma Hydrobio light cream. This one I've this cream I've used for years now, just uh, yeah, at least four years, because it never, never broke me out. And I know that if, you know, something does break me out, I can just go back to this product. So I'm really happy that I had a little bit left over, uh, but I'm going to have to buy a new bottle probably. But what I would like to do is actually find a better quality jojoba because Desert Essence is a 100% pure but it doesn't say anything about it being uh, it's cold pressed but it's not organic. The point is that I didn't like this product and I gave it two full weeks as you know. I didn't introduce a bunch of other products into my skincare routine. It was just jojoba. So I, yeah, I'm not happy with what it did, once again, I state this. However, I'm not giving up on oils. I feel like there might be an oil out there that would work with my skin type. My skin type is fairly normal at this point, but mm, it, my skin is still acne prone. As you can see, with the wrong product on acne prone skin, you can cause yourself to break out, which is what I did. <laughs> all in the name of experiments. This is pretty common with uh, Desert Essence Jojoba Oil. If you read reviews, a lot of people complain about this particular brand and I'm not sure exactly what this is. Maybe it's the fact that it's not organic. Like, because I'm 27 years old, right? I've been using the same kind of anti-acne, uh, pro-good skin routine for the last, I don't know, probably four years. That's, yeah. My skin is no longer, you know, like, I, it's not like I'm hormonal or whatever. My diet's great. I'm living a good lifestyle. So I no longer have to fear acne unless I put the wrong product on my face. Be careful. Do your research. Read reviews before choosing a product because this is a great example of what happens when you kind of go in blind, choose a product, try it for too long and ruin your skin. I mean, everything is healing quite nicely, but as you can see even from, like, I'm not even that close, but you can see that my forehead is still covered in these little spots. And, um, but they're going away. It's not a big deal. Like, I, again, I'm only wearing a concealer, a mineral powder, and blush on my face. So, uh, yeah. Like, I, I, I didn't even try to cover them up. Like, I just don't because these are just like little scabby things from when I decided to pop them. <laughs> so I, I definitely made the situation worse by interfering, but I'll keep you updated on if I find a better jojoba oil that actually works or I might even look into like argan oil. Their argan oil gets really good uh, feedback. So yeah. I'm sure there's an alternative out there, I just haven't stumbled upon it. And yeah, I think that it's time for me to venture away from my um, benzoyl peroxide still and from my, um, you know, typical like uh, clear skin routine and try a more natural route for my aging skin. 
<laughs> just because I, I want to keep it, you know, elastic and and firm and and youthful and just pretty. So I'm on a hunt. I'm on a hunt for a good skincare routine that's different from my old one. I'm not looking forward to the experimentation part of it because these two weeks have been like like this and I kind of been freaking out sometimes and sometimes I was hopeful and sometimes I was devastated like when it wasn't working because I really wanted it to work and that was really really disappointing when you know you think you think it's gonna work and then it just ruins your skin mm. I'll, uh, I'll provide a link to my review on this moisturizer so that you can uh, see what I really think about it in more detail, but it's a wonderful little product that is quite light but uh, Moisturizing enough to even like even over benzoyl peroxide Moisturizing enough over very drying benzoyl peroxide So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like uh, And go to my website olenaloves.com for more of this kind of stuff Have yourself a beautiful beautiful day Talk soon.